Today I'm heading out from the Estancia Maria Betty Lodge to fish the Zeta pool on the famous Rio Grande River. The terrain here on Tierra del Fuego is just breathtaking. Nowhere else on this planet presents such iconic views. Zeta Pool is located in the lower section of the river and it's a great holding pool for sea trout in the early part of the season. Conditions should be good, but the wind will most likely be quite severe. As anyone who has fished the Rio Grande will know, this is not particularly unusual. On the positive side, the guides here know exactly how to fish the pools in these conditions, so the wind should be manageable. I'm going to demonstrate the effectiveness of two famous Rio Grande flies, the classic EMB and the girdle bug fly. These have been tied by Rio Grande guide Miguel Zangla. These flies are used extensively in the Rio Grande and have proven over the years to be very effective patterns, despite their apparent simple design. I'm starting fishing the pool with an 8 weight rod. This is a Mackenzie Atlas 6 piece. The line is a Rio Skagit 550 grain floating short head with a 15 foot Rio clear intermediate versa tip. The fly is a classic EMB nymph. A deadly pattern born on this river. The wind is pushing downstream and from the right. I'm going to use a snake roll cast in these conditions. This means that no time will the line or fly be above me. In this wind I don't want to take a chance of the fly being blown towards me. I've not been here long and I can see fish rolling in front of me and further down the pool. I continue using the snake roll and work my way slowly down the pool. I'm rocking the rod gently to put a bit of movement into the EMB. I feel a fish lunge at the fly but it doesn't connect. I recast and mend the line to slow it down. I continue to slowly move through the pool and send long casts out towards the opposite bank. I repeatedly tug on the line to keep the fly moving. I use longer tugs to generate more movement and vary how the fly is riding in the water. There it is. That was a great take and it's cartwheeling across the pool. What an awesome sight. This is a lively one for sure. Federico, my guide today, is standing by and ready to net. I'm going to try and keep it away from the other fish so I back up out of the water, but it's still a long way out. I start to retrieve line, but this fish has got so much energy. Federico encourages me out of the water and onto the shingle. This is to put distance between myself and the fish as we work it into the shallow water. It's still strong and taking line. These Rio Grande sea trout just will not give up without a fight. It's still taking line, so it's far from done yet. It's probably in no more than eight inches of water as we try to hold on to it from running again. Notice how Federico is staying well back and out of the fish's view, waiting until the fish is in the shallows. He signals me the fish is ready and pounces with the net first time. The fish is netted. Excellent work. This fish is about eight or nine pounds, I think. 
It's sublimely shaped, so typical of a fish in the Rio Grande. It's bright and it's silver and it hasn't got a mark on it. This is as fresh as they get, and this is why the long journey to get here is so worth it. I've changed over to a 9 weight rod with a long fast sink tip and a girdle bug fly. I've had a few casts and I don't think I'm engaging in the zone where the fish are lying. I can see them moving on the surface and I think I'm too deep and my fly is swinging underneath them. Federico agrees and we decide to change over to the 8 weight floating intermediate setup, but I'm sticking with the girdle bug fly. The water's a bit dark and I'd like for the EMB and this girdle bug fly will stand out better. I continue to cast using the snake roll, keeping the line downstream of me and keeping the fly moving. It's definitely in the area where I think the fish are resting. They're going to be closer to the far bank, sitting high in the deeper water. I'm going to cast the fly close to the far bank, mend the line and let it swing into where the fish are showing. Hopefully they won't be able to resist this very visual fly. That's landed exactly where I wanted it to and it's going to swing in nicely. I see a splash. That fish was definitely agitated by my fly. I didn't feel anything, but it was definitely in the zone. Oh, there's one. I took the fly very strong. I wonder if it's the same fish that just turned on the fly earlier. The girdle bug is such a basic, simple fly, but very effective. I've used this pattern here a lot in the Rio Grande, and they're just deadly in this heightened clarity of water. Another strong take and a hard fighter. It's pulling line and that's into the backing already. What a great fish. It's fighting hard to get to the other side of the river, but I'm backing out the river and holding it as best I can. I get onto the shingle and continue to fight the fish and bring it towards the shallow water. Again, notice how Federico was staying back, waiting until the fish is well into the shallows. He ambushes and has it in the net in a flash. It's a beautiful fresh fish around six pounds. Bright silver with just stunning markings. These fish are just a delight to catch. Unfortunately it's taken the fly deep and it's bleeding a little. It's not in the gills that we don't take any chance of it and we quickly abandon trying to recover the fly. We cut the lead and release the fish immediately. Another beautiful Rio Grande sea trout heads back to the water. <laughs> 